Wow. Well, first of all, thank you very much for having us, Ms. Rousing. Um, and we must begin with Alpinista because she's come at a golden period for you as an owner breeder this last year, especially 2021, was, I must imagine, a real highlight for you. And she's continuing on the legacy of the family that you must be very proud of. Well, of course, I'm delighted that she's turned out so good. And for me, as a breeder, it's a great pleasure to see she's my fourth generation homebred and my fifth generation on the stud. So it's, it's great to see the continuity and to study the family traits and some dissimilarities as well. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it was a great year last year with her three Group 1 wins and Zaki's three Group 1 winners in Australia. And Alpanista, similar must be to her granddam in that the three, the group ones that she's got, and now as a five-year-old, similar to her granddam, she seems to be even improving. Yes, actually, funnily enough, um, Alpinista and her granddam, Albanova, they won the exact same triple group ones in Germany, but Alpinista did it at four and Albanova at five. So Alpinista is a year ahead, if you want to see it that way. And she ended last season obviously on such a high. Was it an, always a no-brainer to keep her in training again and go for the big one, which I assume is still the pre de Triomphe? Well, we, uh, Sir Mark Prescott and myself, we discussed it obviously before she had run her last race, which was quite late in the year. I think it was uh, even around the 1st of November. Um, and we discussed it before then and uh, obviously one can't make any decisions until you know how she had finished the year but we felt that if she finished the year healthy and sound we should have another go particularly with a view to both her dam um, Al Wilder and her granddam Albanova both of them were at their best at five mm -hmm. so there was a logical case to be made then uh, during the winter uh, during discussions, we obviously felt that um, to, we, we wanted to set the goal quite, quite a difficult goal, a difficult objective to achieve, but obviously the first Sunday of October in Paris is the end objective and we have to work backwards from there. So the, the plan was really to have a race here and obviously she spent a lot of her time abroad at the end of last season. so bringing her back home uh, to York next week is probably not what the plan had originally been? If yes, uh, yes, it was always part of the okay. plan. But um, the thing is, she spent a lot of time abroad, but she wasn't there continuously, so she spent a whole lot of time travelling backwards and forwards. She's a seasoned traveller, as were her dam and granddam also. I mean, Albanova, she was in Germany uh, three times in two months. Mm -hmm. In 60 days she was back and forth to Germany three times on her own in a two-seater horse box, which was a pretty tough girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that mental constitution is what yes, goes yes, through the family. Yes, I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously the Frankel element as well, which is obviously that, that toughness, but the, she obviously shows a little bit of speed too. She's got a really nice blend of both. She has a, a, a a certain uh, change of gear which seemed more obvious in Paris than it had done previously. So we were very pleased. I was pretty impressed by her in Paris. And when we go back, going back to York and taking on the girls again, but having to give weight away to her youngest, what do you think about that challenge for her next? Well, she has actually run in that race, the Yorkshire Ropes. Um, two years ago in 2020 mm. and she was then second. The thing is that uh, it's a lovely race and we all love going to York mm. and um, I don't think that she will mind having to walk across the Knavesmire. Mm. Some horses get a bit uh, um, excited about that but I would be surprised if she had any views on that. Mm. Um, and uh, it falls, the race falls very well in time for her programme. And um, your, obviously, association with Sir Mark Prescott goes back decades and decades. It must be bring you a lot of joy to have another filly in the same vein as those that have come before to enjoy this time with him too. 
Yes, it, it goes on a long time, I would say um, 30 years at least. And it all started when he purchased a, a marvellous filly called Last Second mm -hmm. from uh, Mrs. Sonia Rogers and myself. And Last Second was very good. And um, then I produced her three quarters sister, also by Alzo, who had damaged her uh, pedal bone, near hind pedal bone, as a foal, so she couldn't be sold and so on. So I asked uh, Sir Mark to train her for me. There seemed to be an obvious connection, him having trained last second. Mm -hmm. And um, my filly turned out to be dual champion stakes winner Alborada. Yeah. So then we were off of this. She was a foal of 90, Five, so this would have been. She was a yearling of ninety six. So, mm -hmm. but he did train a few that he had purchased from me before that. So, uh, we've been together a long time. We've had horses. I've had horses there every year since then. And uh, Alpinista's Dama, we do. It's just the beginning for her. That this is that was her first fall, and she's. It's the start of hopefully a, a long legacy herself, and already her half sister is a, a unbeaten too over in France with yes. Tim Yes, uh, her half sister, three year old Alpenblume, she has won all her three starts in France for Tim Donworth, uh, up and coming young trainer in his first full season of training. And uh, she is an intended runner in a listed race at Hannover on the 21st of this month. And then the mayor has also, um, she has a filly foal uh, by Ifraj and she's in foal to Frankel again. Mm. And Alpinista herself, I'd imagine if it comes to an end at the end of the season, from a breeding perspective, being by Frankel, um, I was thinking perhaps even study of man might be a, a sire for her. Yes, I'm sure that she will one day meet <laughs> study of man for, uh, yes, that will surely be um, an ambition in the future, yeah. My ambition also is that it would be marvellous if she could win the Yorkshire Ropes, then if that were to happen, she would be a Group 1 winner in three countries. So that's another train of thought.